I think one of the most important things we do and also one of the biggest blessings that we get to get to partake in is, is just hearing stories from our fans and sometimes it happens in signing lines, sometimes it happens on a Facebook or an email um, and, and whenever and wherever it happens I'm always honored to take time to hear what a song means to someone and with songs like Where that, Words I Would Say and You Love Me Anyway, I mean we've had some poignant stories, stories where women, you know, mothers have sent their sons to war. Mother, a mother sent her son to war and put Words I Would Say in his, in his bag as he left and you know he found it and, and uh, I think one of the moms said he cried in the barracks and got made fun of but he but everybody knew that it was because he loved his mom and uh, and you know just stories like that, that that it was man our song that that helped her let her son go but also helped him when he was in the middle of war and uh, and also with you love me anyway I, I, I mean we were told a story where a, a, a boy was about to commit suicide and one of his friends pulled up and, and stopped to talk to him and talk him out of it and he heard you love me anyway and he heard that line I'm Judas's kiss and he put the gun down and, and just that that story right there just that one life that heard that song and put the gun down and it, it just it, you write songs for a specific purpose and God uses them for such greater greater things and uh, man and even with our newest song live like that one of the most powerful stories we ever received was an email this woman that's in terminal cancer and she has only days or months left to live with her kids and she said she heard our song live like that and it made her realize that instead of being sorry for herself instead of just wasting away these last few months that she needs to live as Christ would live for her kids these last few months that she has and it, it brings you to tears but I'll, I'll I don't know if I'll ever know the faith that she has just to say something like that and to feel something like that but man it's just amazing to be a tool in the hand of God and that's that's what we're just trying to be is to let him work through this awesome gift he's given us.